special feature. Oh, that's cool. Right, uh, display subtitles, of course I do. Music. Zero. <laughs> Like, I'm not getting copyright. I don't care what the song is. Welcome to Firewatch. <laughs> Capo Santo presents Incorporation with Panic Inc. Nineteen seventy five Colorado. You see Julia? No, I don't. She's about your age, late twenties, laughing, well dressed. Professors and grad students from nearby CU Builder. <clears throat> you, Henry, are not drinking with your pals. You approach her. You are drunk. So, what's your, you know, major? You slur the word major and it smells like corn. You give an awkward smile. Evolutionary biology, she says. And I'm, and I'm a professor. Cool, you reply. What's yours? She asks. She sniffs the air. Toxology? Was that a burn? You ask. She says, definitely. Worried she hurt your feelings. She asks you if you want to split a cheeseburger. One week later, you are Julia's boyfriend. Wow. Okay. Are you waiting? Mm. Oh. Okay. Uh, it's a sword. Oh, look at me. Huh. I got feet. I got arms. Yeah, that's not my truck. I belong in the bin. Um, no, nah, I can just walk there, it's fine. And I can't, shit. Go, go. Get in. Sure, that's safe. You did for over a year. She drives you absolutely nuts. It's great. You move in. You share an apartment. There's a school with a view of the mountains. You two drink beers on the outdoor deck. You drink beer just about anywhere. Life is good. Julia wants to get a dog. There's a scruffy, undersized beagle. 
Julia is in love. She wants to break up with her new class. There's also an in intimidating but gentle eyed German Shepherd. Nothing bad could happen to Julia while we're walking this dog. It's badass. Look okay, at Bucket. Bucket's a good dog. And a week later, he's totally t t forgotten about the other one. Julia loves him. And you love him too. 1979. You walk out on the deck. It's summer. 9.30pm. And the heat's still. Ready to break off the high desert. What do you think about kids? She asks. Kids? They're not very smart. Or good that much. I'm saying if you and I have some, a couple of little idiots. One day, why rush? She looks her way out towards the mountains. We have plenty of time, right? Speak for yourself, mister. Don't worry, you're sure. You tell her she has the body of an undergrad. My ovaries didn't get the memo, she says, laugh me off. One day, okay. Okay, what day? She says, six months later, you get engaged, lying in bed on a Sunday morning. I already hate this guy. <clears throat> when I say one day, I mean never. Because I do not want one. Ever. Alright, let's look at this map. Oh. Hmm, very cool. Uh, you're in their country. Learn to live with bears. No fireworks. That's good. No gender reveals. <laughs> People don't learn. 1980. It's a Thursday night and Julia is four hours late. She doesn't call. You're worried and getting angrier by the minute. She walks in after you've gone to bed. She's not quite drunk, but she's clearly been having a fun time. You fight when she gets between the sheets. Ignore her. You don't touch each other all night. The next day you feel guilty for being so angry and ask her about her evening. She says it was great. You hold on to a tiny pill of resentment. You make some coffee and go to work. <clears throat> 1981 Julia still likes to draw. She draws plants from her research. She draws all the places you go. She draws you. <laughs> yeah. Very nice. <laughs> I like it. Oop. Ah, the red sun. Well, it's more orange. Are we in Australia? <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. <gasps> yeah, yeah, very warm. Nineteen eighty-two. During the summers, you and Julia enjoy walking bucket at night. There's a festival in town. It brings in folks from far away places. One of them tries to mug you with a knife. Bucket gets kicked. B -b -b fuck the dock! Julia yells. She gets frustrated and troubled speaking when she's stressed. You confront the attacker. You beat his goddamn face in! 
Your arm gets cut up, but you beat the guy to a pulp. You don't feel very tough. You cry your eyes before the cops show up. Julia asks to take a different path from that day forward. You say okay. You don't want to go that way either. From then on, you walk by the river. 1984. Plans to have kids. Get waylaid by work. Good. That's good. I don't care. Uh, Julia gets offered a job at Yale. Yale is a conduit 2,000 miles away. She gets a great job. Associate department chair. She wants to move. You absolutely do not. Oh god. Eh. You ask if she she can't compute back and forth. You don't want to move to Connecticut. She says it'll be hard, but she'll do it if you won't move. You tell her not to pass it up if it's what she wants. She agrees. She flies back to Boulder. Three times each semester. 1985. Julia is sent home from Yale. Yale. I always pronounce that on paid leave. After having an episode, she lost it on a colleague for borrowing books that were important for her research. She didn't remember she had happily loaned them to him. Just two days prior, she was found cycling in the stairwell. Yeah, we should talk about it. After seeing multiple doctors and having many tests, they are worried about Julia might be suffering from an early onset dementia. She is 41. You both decide to keep it a secret for now. Okay. I mean. Uh, okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, I love it. Bucket is getting older. Julia comments that it's kind of nice. It's kind of nice because she gets in this trouble around the house. A week later, she goes back to the university. 1987. Julia's affliction gets worse. She can't remember things in class. Her research is in shambles. She drives her car to the next town over for no particular reason. And has to be brought home by the police. She is devastated. She is sent home on per permanent med medical leave. Some days you get the Julia because you were dope. And an unborn child. <laughs> no idiots. Other days you get a stranger. She pulls you into bed to make love. After five minutes, she goes into a panic, believing her dad is at the door. You tell her family they are crushed and begin to make trips to and from their house in Australia to visit her. For a while, your friends come by with little things to brighten the day. She gets worse. 1988. You spend your days following Julia around the house. You count the seconds between the two weekly visits from Daniel, the nurse. He suggests that Julia could live somewhere else. Somewhere with 24 hour care. A home. It sits with you for a couple of months.
I can't take care of that. I can't take care of a person, so... Yeah. I'll let a professional do it. I'm not a professional. They know what they're doing. What's the deal? Hello? Good day? Whoa! Nice. Her family agrees with your decision. You find a fantastic place in Boulder. I move her there. You see her every day. Then every other day. You go out to the ball with your old friends. It's not the same. You get the feeling that every wife tells her husband. If you ever put me in a home like Henry did. I will cut your balls off. You slowly decide not. Not. Not see your old friends that much. 1989 Julia's sister Susan moves to Boulder to be close to her. She visits her every day. You go with her some of the time. Susan buys you an old typewriter and urges you to use it if you won't see a therapist. You won't. You've always really liked Susan. Months go by. Bucket dies. Julia doesn't remember him when you tell her. Sometimes it takes her a minute to lock in on you. In the back of your mind you believe it's because you see her less and less. And seeing her less and less makes her forget you more, you think. Summer is coming and you see an ad in the paper for a job. You take it. You take it! Are you throwing it? <laughs> no. That's a reference to like a, a weird movie. Hey, I'm a forest watcher. <laughs> I look at trees and go, yes, they look safe. I think lookout towers and forests are probably just there for like, maybe there's a fire or something. Because I'm pretty sure he has a walkie-talkie for, like, emergencies and shit. So. Also, this was in Stanley Parable. Like, uh, the tower. <laughs> um, which was pretty cool. Oh. Oh. Hell yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Oh, hello. Good day. Hello? Um, hello? Whoever this is? It's Henry, right? It's Henry, yeah. Right? I'm, Delilah. I'm Delilah. Yeah, that's what the guy said on the phone. So, what's wrong with you? Excuse me? People take this job to get away from something. So, what's wrong? What's wrong with you? That's a great idea. Go ahead. I just hiked for two days, so I don't know what I'm doing right now. You don't take a stab at what's wrong with me. Fine, then can I sleep forever? Sure, buddy. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, now go ahead. Okay, uh, you've... Killed three husbands. <laughs> you're just out here until the heat dies down, and then you'll kill again. Ooh, very yeah. Good. Bravo, Henry. Okay. I sleep yeah. now. Not quite. Now you. Okay. Good night. Bye. Let's see. I don't know anything about you. I say you got fired from your job and have finally decided to write your novel. That's the sort of bullshit reason you'll find a man out in the woods. Good night. Welcome to the job. Just <laughs> playing with a light switch. A light switch. A light switch. Day one. Bing dong. Morning, Henry. Well, I guess good afternoon. <laughs> you probably slept like a rock. Anyway, uh, there's still a few hours of daylight to get some work in. 
I can see you at your desk, so call me when you're ready. Hey, sorry, guess I slept in. You got a relaxing, what, 14 hours of sleep? Whew. Yeah, Jesus, I guess it's for six? 6.45. Whoops. Don't worry about it. That hike puts everyone out of commission for a day or two. But now that you're up, let me quickly get you acquainted with the job. There's a thing in the back of your room with a round map on it. No. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> okay, yeah, I see it. This is the Osborne Firefinder. Huh? In by WB Goodbye. Osborne. <laughs> you guessed it. Five. This is so what, the fuck? what is it? Nothing. Um, you, uh, you uh, use Please, this can I drink oh, it? Fuck me. Good guy. Oh, wow. Oh, 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 Out your west facing oh. window. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Uh, Are those fucking fireworks? Oh my god. No. <laughs> no, not the fireworks. I need you to confirm. Do you see them? Do you see them? Whoa, that's not legal, right? Uh, no. You need to get down there right now and stop them. Fire danger is through the fucking roof. I'll grab my dish, bro. My job. Your job is whatever I say it is. Look, the closest range yes. is like two days away. Go down there and set them straight. Like, kick the shit out of them sort of straight? No, 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 no. Jesus, no. What? I'm not a cop. It's not like I've got a rule book over here. Just make sure they don't do it again. Take their shit. All right, fine. Don't feed anyone a knuckle sandwich. Get going. You'll probably need a rope to get down the shale between you and the lake, if I remember right. There should be one in the supply box on the way. The code is one, two, three, four. It's actually that for all of them. Smart. Shut up. Shut up. You know what, I'll do it. I drew that picture. You know what, dude? Forget the past, man. You need to move on! Let's go. Where is it? Oh my god, how zoomed in are you? <laughs> Not really. I didn't know this was also a horror game. I should be okay. Can I not jump? Is my man weak? Weak. Ah. 
There it is. Ah. Uh. I found the supply box. Great. Boom. Nice. Read. Wrong. Hey, man! Guy! Couldn't take it, so I looked up his lookout and put some stuff in the box. Found one of those boys you liked hiking in the park. But let's get the fuck. Let's get fucked when I'm back. Dave. It's a pain gun. Hey! A snack. You definitely do not want to do that. Whatever's in there has been in there for years. That's how you get food poisoning. Good. I tracked down that rope. It was right where you said. Great. So you should be set to get down to the lake. Alright, let's go. <sighs> right. Huh. Hey, I found a note to a guy named Ron from some guy Dave. That's probably Dave Gaskell. He's completely nuts. Is that right? Mm. Harmless, but yeah. One of those, you know, fall off the grid and eat ants for a week type. Totally fucking cuckoo. Which is kind of what the job attracts. This vista is incredible. <laughs> Which one? Uh, down the hill from my tower. And there's a canyon and then the rest of... Well, everything. Yeah, you should see what I'm looking at. An eagle has been hovering over this gorge for the past hour. <laughs> Maybe if you're good, you can come by and see it at the end of the summer. Yay! Let's go deal with this twats. Uh, this shale slide is steep. How do you expect me to get down this? I don't remember it being that bad. It's not even named on our topos. It should be called Cripple Gulch, just east of gonna pee in a bag <laughs> from her flats. Oh, is that Absorka Indian? Maybe, maybe Creek? Uh, it's actually English for not in my job description. Alright, let's get in. I'll be fine. I'm looking down though. No. Uh, I'm fine. Gulch got me. What exactly happened? My rope snapped coming down the shale slide. Think you'll have to pee in a bag for the rest of your life? No, I think I'll make it. Well, be careful for Christ's sake. Uh, hey, there's a tie off point off here just a little away from the shale slide. Well, you ready to get back on that horse, huh? Well, I can't go any further, is what I'm saying. That heads south down to the creek, but you should be able to get to the lake just by continuing west without any, you know, mountaineering. All right. It's a long summer. You can explore later. Oh, I can explore later. Oh, yeah, that's cool. It is a hell of a hike. It is a hell of a nice camping spot down here by the lake. I haven't been down there in years, but yeah, Jonesy Lake area is perfect. 
staring at the big outcropping down here, but I'm not quite sure where to look for our uh, pyrotechnicians. Hmm. Maybe keep heading west toward the lake. We left half a bottle of whiskey. Decent stuff. Drunk pyromaniacs. Fucking Decent crazy. stuff. Bruh. Oh shit. Ferret or Irish. Probably don't need this in my life right now. Well, I put out their fire. Man, I want to name that forest fire something good, too. Hey, I can always restart it. Uh, no. I think your first instinct was the right one. They left their packs tied up here. Don't fuck with them. The last thing we need is some hikers filing a report about harassment. I'm gonna take them. Finding a bunch of empty beer cans. They threw them all over hell. Are you fucking serious? Yeah, sure am. I would like to retract my statement about knuckle sandwiches. Feet away. What do you know? People with shitty manners drink shitty beer. What, you don't like a cold musk while light on a hot day? No, no, I do. But then again, I didn't say my manners were any good. Better than these fucking litter bugs, though, that's for sure. <laughs> Found the fireworks. They didn't even try to hide them. Uh, well, confiscate them. I were <laughs> Nah, guys, I got your fire. Oh. Well, they left their clothes out to dry. It looks like uh, two people. Well, what if they're naked? Won't that be exciting? Look, they're obviously still there, so tell them off and then head back. Well, I'm going to show, show them a thing or two. I found a bra. A nudie pyromaniac. Remain professional. Hmm. I have to look at this. <laughs> oh. Uh, there are uh, panties. There are what? Panties. Why? Cause you're twelve. Hey, come on, bro. Oh. There's a... Uh, ooh. Yes? Uh, nothing. Forget it. If you say so. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> didn't, didn't I just turn off music? I did. I found them in the lake. Skinny dipping. Yeah. Is that a guy over there? Oh boy. Full stereo. Oh, hey, put that down. Ah! You, you asshole! Fight another firework, and it won't be your stereo, I wreck. Oh, fuck you, psycho. Yeah. Hey, fuck it's, you. it's still good. You'll fucking pay for this. You can't just harass girls in the Wee! <laughs> Yes, I can. You fucking firework bitches. Fuck you! I'll come after you! I'll swim! Hey, that go okay? Ew. Gross. You there, uh, Henry? Stop. Sorry, girls. Hey, you there? Talk to me! 
talk to me! Wow, I'm jumping. So, I have a bit of a confession to make. What is it? Um, what? Okay, I, was, I was drunk last night when I welcomed you to the job. Yeah, well, you're not the first boss to be guilty of that. I know, I just, I know I can get a little pushy, you know, putting you on the spot about uh, why you're out here and stuff. It's fine. I'll, I'll, I'll keep that sort of a thing to, uh, to a minimum. Anyway, let me know when you get back to your lookout. Hey, uh, I can see my tower. How do I get back? If it's the one I think it is, there should be an old trail the Forest Service closed off a couple years back. And I'm sure their reasons for closing it off had nothing to do with safety, right? Oh, it washed out and became a fucking death trap. So, you know, be careful. Oh, she cares about me. I kind of know how this game ends, but... Uh. Hey, I heard some thunder. Yeah, I've got eyes on a storm out to the north. Well, that's bad, right? Because of the lightning? It just means we'll be busy. Hurry home, and try not to get hit by lightning. Go! Oh! Yeah, I'm not sure I got a lot of choice in getting struck down. Especially not with your electric personality. Ugh. Mm, I see my joke did not spark your sense of humor. Ugh. What, you're not enjoying our current conversation? Oh my god, lady. The, the arc of our budding friendship. Oh, I'm just going to let her have that one. Same. One, two, three, four. Aha. There's actually achievements here as well. There's a horn or an antler or whatever. Well, antlers are made of bone and horns are made of the same stuff as your fingernails. I guess this is a bone. Antler. A ranger must have found it this spring. Okay. I found a flashlight. There's one in there? Great. Well, the sun's gonna go down soon, so if the batteries still work, you're in luck. Ah! Yep. Mark's fine. What's in this cave down here? In Thunder Canyon? Thunder Canyon? Hey, I didn't name it. But in the cave? I don't know, rocks? NFS tells people not to go too far in there. It's pretty dangerous. So... So, I say, fuck it. You're a grown man, you can go where you want. Great. <laughs> Let's go! Back in Colorado, she loved it. Might be great to explore it sometime this summer. Oh, that could be fun. Obviously, be very careful. It doesn't seem that dangerous. Whoa, whoa! Oh, no! Henry! Seriously, it's completely fine in here. <laughs> Love it. Hello! This cave is gated off. It's to stop spelunkers from dying without getting the keys from the Forest Service office first. Makes sense. Although, Debbie says she lost them like three years ago, so maybe its mysteries are locked away for good. Ah, damn. Yeah, but maybe you can find another one to get your caving kicks in. Oh, this one's so close to home and convenient, though. Aw, oh, sorry, Hank.
I did it. There's some guy out here. Some guy? Wait, he's looking at you? Is he doing anything else? I... I don't think so. Henry, there's... there's something I... Something someone should have told you about this area. What is it? It's... outside. Come on. The whole thing. And people come and go as they please. It's... it's... it's madness. Yeah, yeah, okay. I get it. Look, bumping into someone in the middle of nowhere is part of the fun. I I need more rocks to have to climb. Breaking, but you know anything for the service. Well, thank you. Anytime. Um. So it's uh, just the outhouse then, in terms of going to the bathroom. Um, you're a man, Henry. You can go wherever you want. Well, number one at least. And uh, full disclosure, I pee wherever I want as well. Let's go ball. They must be worth a thousand dollars. Uh what can I do for you? Well my typewriter is on the ground outside of my tower. You right? Yeah, look, uh, the wind? No. How the hell you should get inside. Fuck me. I'm afraid to use it. I got a ball in here. Oh, we don't look good. Someone broke in. They what? They just they wrecked the place. Threw my typewriter out the window. Motherfucker! Holy shit! Um, I'll let the Forest Service know what happened. My fucking sheets are gone. They stole your sheets? That's just mean. Yeah, it sucks. Yeah. Okay, I put in a call. Okay, thanks. Do you have any idea who would have done this? I did probably piss off the girls at the lake. Ugh, fuck them. Well, I'll have the rangers keep an eye out for a couple of young women and question any they find. I can't believe someone would do this. I worry about bears and fires, and that's about it. And now I've got to worry about some, what, violent campers? Uh, 
Okay, in the morning I'm gonna call my friend Patty, who works the desk down in Cody. They keep a list of everyone who's officially been in and out of the trailhead since, I don't know, forever, and see if we can get a list of names. We won't get much, but at least if anything else happens, we can refer to it and see if anything comes up. Thanks. I need you to feel safe out here. Don't worry about it. Oh, you can protect yourself, huh? I've done it before. Okay, tough guy. A2. Day 2. Electric Boogaloo. I don't wanna. Huh? I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. I don't really know why that would be the case. Should I be worried? About what? We can't get help if we need it. You're tough, Hank. You don't seem like the guy who likes to ask for help. Sure. What I need you to do, though, is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So you're going to want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. Let's go. So this generator, it's all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas, and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so... What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. I like the outhouse in a rustic, I'm roughing it sort of way. Yeah, it's a little privacy among the seemingly endless expanse of, well, privacy. I like it all the same. You know what? I'm gonna leave it here. Well, we're gonna do every, every, I guess, day of this game. I mean, not every day of this game. Well, you get, you get what I mean. Shut up. Anyway, goodbye.